Olivia Takes Ballet. To watch the story, touch the reading games. Choose a game to play. What happened? Let's see how much you remember about the story. Are you ready? Let's start. Who did Olivia talk to? Touch a picture or a teacher. You rock. Olivia was talking to her teacher. What did Olivia use to call Julian? Touch a picture to answer. Phone. You are exactly right. Olivia used a phone to call Julian. Who said, Julian, you're supposed to be my partner? Touch a picture or a Olivia. You rock. Olivia said. Julian, you're supposed to be my partner. Whose muscles hurt? Touch a picture or a word to answer. Julian. You're on a roll. Julian's muscles hurt. Ow, I'm so sore. Who did Olivia say was graceful, athletic, and funny? Touch a picture, Uncle Garrett. So smart. Olivia said Uncle Garrett was graceful, athletic, and funny. You got them all. Well done. Let's play again, and you can try to get another perfect score. Choose a game, Capital Plan. Let's learn about capital letters. The word I is always a capital letter. Touch the word I. I. Super fantastic! The word I is always a capital letter. If a word is at the beginning of a sentence, it should start with a capital letter. Touch a word that is at the beginning of a sentence. Olivia. You're on a roll! That word is at the beginning of a sentence. So it should start with a capital letter. Names of languages always start with a capital letter. French is the name of a language. Touch the word French. French! Brilliant! Names of languages always start with a capital letter. French is the name of a language, so it always starts with a capital letter. Wonderful! You've got your brain in gear today. Let's play again, and you can try to get another perfect score. Choose a game to play. Smart parts. Let's learn about parts of speech. Grand is an adjective. An adjective gives more information about a noun. Touch the word grand. Grand. You rock. Grand is an adjective. An adjective gives more information about a noun. Partner is a noun. A noun names a person, place, or thing. Touch the word partner. You are exactly right. Partner is a noun. A noun names a person, place, or thing. Uncle Garrett is a noun. A noun names a person, place, or thing. Uncle Garrett. You're on a roll. Uncle Garrett is a noun. A noun names a person, place, or thing. Super! You really outdid yourself. Let's play again.
and you can try to get another perfect score. Choose a game to play. Constant consonants. Ready to learn about consonant sounds? Let's go. B makes the sound B. Touch a word that begins with the consonant sound B. Body. You rock. Body begins with the consonant sound B. P makes the sound Touch a word that begins with the consonant sound P. Pass. Brilliant! Pass begins with the consonant sound P. J makes the sound J. Touch a word that begins with the consonant sound J. Jump. You rock. Jump. Begins with the consonant sound. J. Marvelous. I'm proud of the way you work today. Let's play again, and you can try to get another perfect score. Choose a game to play. Dance with Olivia. Do you want to see me dance? And learn some ballet terms in French? Touch an icon, and Olivia will dance. Pirouette means stand on tiptoe and turn round and round. Pirouette. I always feel Olivia-ish. Let's see me dance more and learn more ballet terms in French. Touch an icon. Pas de deux. When two dancers dance ballet together in French, we say pas de deux. Pas de deux. Olivia-ish. Let's see me dance more and learn more ballet terms in French. Touch an icon. Grand jeté means jump up with one foot. Grand jeté. Isn't it wonderful? Let's see me dance more and learn more ballet terms in French. Touch an icon and Olivia will dance. Plié means bend your knees. Plié. Now, which ballet movements should I dance? Touch any three of the icons and watch Olivia dance. Pirouette. Plié. Pas de deux. Answer in line. Touch a girl or a number to answer. 
The first dancer. You're a brainiac. She is the first dancer in line. Now, touch the dancer who is nearest to the first dancer in line. Touch a girl, the second dancer. Super! The second dancer is nearest to the first dancer in line. Ready for another question? Touch the second dancer in line. Touch a girl or the second dancer. Super fantastic! She is the second dancer in line. Now, touch the dancer that is to your right of the second dancer in line. Touch a girl, the third dancer. That's it! The third dancer is to your right of the second dancer in line. Ready for another question? Touch the fourth dancer in line. The fourth dancer. You rock! She is the fourth dancer in line. Now, touch the dancer that is before the fourth dancer in line. The third dancer. You're going to be famous. The third dancer is before the fourth dancer in line. Perfect! You got them all! Let's play again soon! Choose a game to play. Vowel match. Do you want to play? Come on, let's go! Pass has the short sound ah in the middle. Huh. Ah. Touch another word with the sound ah in the middle. Cat. Super. Cat has the short sound ah in the middle. Ready for another question? Bend has the short sound eh in the middle. B, eh, m, mm, d. Touch another word with the sound eh in the middle. Jet. So smart. Jet has the short sound eh in the middle. Ready for another question? Hop has the short sound ah in the middle. <sighs> ah. Touch another word with the sound ah in the middle. Top. You're a brainiac. Top has the short sound ah in the middle. Perfect! You got them all! Let's play again soon! Choose a game to play. On your mark. Let's learn some punctuation marks. A question mark is a punctuation mark used at the end of a sentence that is a question. Touch a question mark. Question mark. Super fantastic! A question mark is a punctuation mark used at the end of a sentence that is a question. This sentence is a question. A question ends with a question mark. 
touch the correct punctuation mark to end the sentence. Question mark. A plus. A question ends with a question mark. Ready for another question? When people speak in a story, quotation marks are punctuation marks used at the beginning and end of what they say. Touch a quotation mark. Quotation marks. Super! When people speak in a story, quotation marks are punctuation marks used at the beginning and end of what they say. Quotation marks show that someone is talking. Touch the correct punctuation mark to quotation marks. Super fantastic! Quotation marks show that someone is talking. In this case, they show that Olivia is speaking. Ready for another question? An exclamation point is a punctuation mark used at the end of a sentence that shows strong feeling. Touch an exclamation point. Exclamation point. Super fantastic! An exclamation point is a punctuation mark used at the end of a sentence that shows strong feeling. This sentence shows strong feeling. It ends with an exclamation point. Touch the correct punctuation mark to end the sentence. Exclamation point. You rock! This sentence shows strong feeling, so it ends with an exclamation point. Perfect! You got them all! Let's play again soon!